Hey there guys, I'm Jenks564 and this continues to let's play Elf 7s to do hard life and where we finished our mission persuading former business partner partner of the Baron to you know cooperate. Good for us, I guess. A good for, for Baron, not so good for the business partner. And what I need to do I think is just go to this to Marcelo right now and uh, see if he has any any sites for uh, our AK. Um, that might be actually quite useful. Here, have that. Have. Can we get like yeah, at least forty meters sight? And I believe this ones already have it by default, so it's good enough. Yeah, it looks good. Hmm, mines. The remote triggers might be useful, but first might be useful because we're gonna go and uh, probably defense you that door soon. But we'll see. First, we'll go to Porto Vejo. There's constant fighting going on around this Punto do Control, and we'll need to talk to the representative of the foreign superpower. About our weapons, probably we should go to Calder and buy some more bullets. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Also, might need to check if this guy has has bullets that we need, but I think he has mostly bullets that are uh, more hunting bullets than anything else. For uh, what I'm thinking is for this gun. Yeah, that's hollow point. We don't need that. Damn it. That's totally not what I meant to do. Johnson. Come on, Mr. Johnson. Our support. So all formalities are met. We can discuss the supply of weapon. What are you interested in? Uh, firearms, ammunition, body armor, helmets, grenades, launchers, hand grenades. Uh, in short, everything that you can offer us. You are a reasonable man. I was uh, prepared to head about uh, to hear about tanks and aircrafts, ballistics, missiles, and aircraft carriers. Well, as as I said, my government is ready to help. I think today the cargo will depart in our direction. Journey will take about a week. Where do you want to deliver them? Uh, here, tell my gunmate to load it uh, straight into the guardsman warehouse. Yeah, I think that will be fine. Or do we want to like check it? Yeah, yeah, no. I'm pretty sure it will be mostly M16s and stuff like that, which we don't really need all that much. So why don't we go to Forta Calderon and buy more bullets, then we'll go to Calicantinos, buy more bullets and uniforms. We also might want to do a mission about the helicopter. Yeah, I think that'll... That's something we might do. Rosario? Who the hell is Rosario? Isn't that the guy that we, you know, persuaded to return? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Why didn't somebody check who Rosario is? Who are you? Yeah, that's the guy we we brought to him. He's he's still glitched. I guess. Well, fine. Thing is, mission is accomplished. That's all we need. Right? Do you have ammo for me? Um. 
Yeah, sure, let's buy as much as we can of that. And 762 as well, because we need them. I'm pretty sure that that'll be quite a, quite a good amount. We have lots of money, we don't need to really worry about that. Thanks. Let's go and... Uh, and deliver our ammo. No, thank you. Okay. I'm pretty sure that weapons haven't arrived yet, so... Maybe after we'll visit uh, Kalikantinos. Also, I'm thinking I should I should arm our people here, just for the, so that they would uh, you know. What the hell is he? Would look more menacing, I would say. Uh, no, we don't want to order anything. Accept the equipment. Unload the trucks, see what you can get. Okay, 46k rounds. Um, and... Where is his equipment? I want to talk to you about your equipment. And let's give him some armor. Is it in the mis miscellaneous? Yes. Do we have anything in the trunk for him? Well, first of all, take that. Do we have any armor here? That, uh, that is damaged. No, I don't think so. Let's give him... Like a proper armor. Oh, you already have one. And there is a plate inside. Okay, that's good. You have a helmet. And... Uh, AR-15? Sure, that's fine. I should. I surely don't want you to give you any of these guns. Yeah, you're you're totally fine. What kind of weapons do you have? Like right away, nothing interesting. And for ammo, do we have ammo for this gun? Mm, no. Well, well, I don't think we need that though. We're good on that. Yeah, he has only like ammo that we don't really need or want. Quick mount, yeah, nothing interesting. Okay, let's go give our mechanics some armor and uh, weapons. Even though we don't have all that much weapons. Well, at least we'll give him some armor. And there's a ceramic plate here. Ah, yeah, sure. Have it. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Ceramic plate. Yep. I want to give that to you. Okay. And maybe a gun. Well, you know what? Have that. That will be perfect. I don't think we need shotgun for anything else. Because I'm pretty sure he's a uh, kind of crappy shot. Uh, where is his shooting? 15, yeah. That will be good enough for him. Okay. Alberto will probably give you a gun. Probably give you a Glock. Um, do we have any ammo for our Glock? Because he cannot shoot anyways, right? Right. 
It's not like you're gonna hit anything. Come on, or do we have any magazines for it? Yes, we do. Do, ha do we have any ammo for it? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we should have, yeah. And that'll be good enough for you and uh, armor. Just so that you know, you know that you're in the military now. Or paramilitary, I would say. Here, have a titanium plate. Okay, and the helmet. You're in the army now. Whoa. Uh, Rodrigo. Uh, Rodriguez, I mean Pablo. We need to give you a helmet too. Is that like walking like a civilian will just not do it? Uh, where's my helmet for you? Here, have it. Okay, and all I think we have to do is just actually, I might want to give that rifle that we took from the Tununius. Oh, Caesar's here. Caesar needs... Oh, Caesar doesn't want to take anything. Well, alright, Caesar. Pedro. I need to give you something. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. Mm, UMP? UMP is actually okay here, right? Though, you know what? I'm pretty sure you're like a pretty decent shot. So we'll we'll give you this gun. What sort of ammo is this? That's actually okay ammo. Here. And have this on your shoulder, why not? And do we have any... Uh, I, I don't want to give them any grenades. Because who knows what they will do with that. Right? And a couple of magazines for him. Okay. Mm. Here, have some more. Okay, and um, and the armor. Plate and the helmet. Okay, that looks good. Well, no, I will not give you my golden pistol. Because I'm Scaramanga. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll give... Actually, we'll give Simon MP5. M uh, or not MP5. UMP. Or we might give Simon to war. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll give Simon to war. How's Simon with shooting? Actually, Simon is pretty damn awesome with shooting. So, Simon, take this. Yeah, he's really, really good, actually. Didn't see this coming. Couple of... This... And uh, yeah, let's load this into our mags because we have left this ammo left, and I don't think it all the matters all that much. What we give to them? And sure, have a grenade. This, this, and the helmet. Okay. Simon, you look good. Perfect. 
let's go to Calcantinos buy ourselves some first of all ammo for uh, for Caesar and uh, some more ammo for the base probably some more uh, weapons probably for the base if there is any and some uniforms also we might talk about to the guy about the helicopter that's uh, that's a good idea okay so Gustavo tell me you have uniforms quite a lot of stuff here has I'm thinking about actually buying one of the machine guns like say one of this This one looks pretty good. It's heavy as hell. Like buying two of those to for the uh, what's it called for the assault on Ciudad de Oro. Where's all the good ammo for uh, 762 by 39? Because this ammo is crap. I think the guy in uh, Campesino has some good good stuff. 556 by 45. No, that's too expensive. That's not what we want. Okay. You have 2000. Okay, um, yeah, sure, let's buy some of this. And some uniform. Wait a second. We don't need any gear in army uniform. Yep. Because that didn't go through. We need carabineers and that's all. Okay. Go talk to the flight officer of Army of Polynero, or I guess Air Force of Polynero. So, Jose, we've got business to you. Oh, that's uh, that's you, comrade. Just don't, don't tell me that I believe. Uh, well, uh, just don't tell me that I will be sorry if I refuse. It's possible that you will be kicking yourself. You serve somewhere somewhere near. Where is your flying school? I'm not tra uh, I'm not trained to reveal military secrets. I'm not asking you to. I'm just wondering about the geography. Tourists are keen on knowing the places of interest. That's more like it. It's, a, it's not a flying school, but a small landing pad for three helicopters near the former guard base at El, uh, El Toron, a uh, couple of hangars and depot. That's it. Uh, there are also training facilities at the airfield and this is, uh, this is a right one cannot allow recruits near the helicopters before they know all the drill and hardware, in, the th in theory. Uh, here is the airfield, but this should stay between us, deal? 
Sure, and what kind of helicopters are there? American Iro Iroquois, Iro I don't know, Iroquois. Uh, probably from the times of war in Vietnam. They are old, unarmored, but they fly well. Uh, there are no better aircraft for the training pilots. What, even no machine guns? <laughs> That's bad. Uh, how many men can uh, it take aboard? And how far can it get them? Well, taking into account that uh, the the wear uh, and the engine, the wear of the engine, its power, humidity, air temperature, I think that's the best the aircraft will deliver five to six men to port a door in three hours. And we make a trip here to Calcantinus in two hours. Then we refuel and go back. Sometimes I write HQ officers uh, that that way. Inspectors go check in the, the depots, and I come here to to the bar, a piece of cake. And you want, and what want, and you want, what what the hell, and you what want to launch a heliborne assault or transport cargo? I warn you, I won't take heavy stuff. I'm not putting that much strain on tur turbines, and the machine guns have never been installed. We brought the birds that way. Major, can you helicopter make it uh, to the area, to this area, without refueling, providing provided we are uh, taking one-way trip? Ah, so you need to go north rather than south. If the aircraft is not loaded to full capacity, it's quite possible. We'll just need to to go around Fortaleza. After that, we are for a totally direct flight route. And why are we asking? I'm in a great need of experienced pilot for permanent employment with his own helicopter. Haha, <laughs> this joke is hilarious, mate. Or is, is it? It's not a joke. Are you serious? One can be more serious than I am. Permanent employment, 10,000 Teldo per month. Uh, you are provided with housing, catering, and all the other stuff, so it's the same server that you are that you use to do to be uh, to the to be at the airfield but pays, pays much better if, uh, if if it weren't if it weren't to you I would have decided that uh, this is some kind of setup but you can count we have a deal but uh, I will need a aircraft mechanic uh, in case the bird needs some minor repairs you've got a mechanic at base and besides we have more than enough cap capable men do you were don't worry about that in that case, I mean, have you got a plan how to pull it off? Yeah, we've got a couple of ideas. I'm thinking of a night night assault. We'll get to the operation operationally ready heli and leave for good. We'll have to destroy other aircrafts and uh, the guards will most likely have to be eliminated. <laughs> yeah, it's that, it's that simple. I will give you precise coordinates of our destination, then we'll be ready to, for in the air. When we will be already in the air, sorry, I have to be on the safe side. Well, I understand that's uh, the specific of your line of work, but we'll we'll do it a bit differently. Approximately in two weeks, I'll be taking I'll be uh, taking here to Calcantinus for another inspection. Chief inspector is a rule, uh, a colonel or a major, accompanied by he, by his retinue, captains, captain and several guards. All in, all in all, for men tops. Perfect. Um, otherwise, the aircraft will get overweighted. One craft will be operational, operational ready as a standby aircraft. Others won't be able to get airborne for a long, very long time. I guarantee it. There will be no need for to blow up anything. HQ officers are not arriving until nine. You need to be to appear at four or five. That's at at the least. It will be too dark to see anything besides the uniform and the rank insignias, and the guards will be a bit sleepy. Usually there are no flights at the time, but we will be granted permission to take off in case of emergency. If you act decisively, the uh, central won't dare to detain you. I will be waiting for you near the helicopter. We'll load in it and fly away. I hope you will pull this off all without any shooting. Simple and clear, well... We'll do it your way. How will I know the day of operation? How can I contact you? It's very easy. During a routine training flight, I will 
as if by mistake radio in on your frequency and you will hear a message from me from that moment on I will be waiting for your visit for five days and pay a visit to the barman if you are not able to find military military uniform agreed here's a frequency we're con constantly using it and oh military frequency of uh, northerners I know it good as soon as you hear it, teacher sending his best uh, best regards bring it on wait uh, wait I'd like to ask you a question I'm listening two years ago during the war have you ever heard of squadron called uh, with a call sign echo 5 yeah major I did that's a dear good luck Sam okay we'll need some okay uh, basically he'll, he'll uh, radio us uh, using our radio and uh, we're gonna have to come and get uh, come and get him pretty much okay mm, if we go to Campesino first or um, let's go to the Del Reservo and see what they have because they surely have ammo like for Russian made weapons but I don't think they have weapons uh, ammo that I need so it's mostly Polynero made crappy ammo Okay, Rico. Do you have any any uniforms? Um, don't remember which I need. And it's like sets of uniforms. Let's just go like this. Let's see what we have here. Polynero army uniform. Let me see. Which one do we have? Alligarian army and Polinero army uniforms we don't need. So we don't need that, but we'll need that. Okay. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Ammo. Oh, right here, yeah, he has one. Uh, he has the one that we need. Which one is that? Is that the good one? Yeah, that's the good one. And that's the one that's a bit worse. Mm. Okay, let's, let's buy all that. It's 200 ammo. Good. Okay, that's all we need. If we go to the military base, let's deliver all we have. No. And as soon as we'll hear the... Oh, there's a fight in... Uh, what's it called? V Villarado. Maybe governmental forces are trying to like, invade there or something. Okay, come on. Oh, he's not here, damn it. Uh, somewhere in here. There he is. Uh, uniform. Okay. Some rounds, some uniforms. Okay. Do want to buy some some equipment for, uh, like order some stuff for him from him? As what kind of machine guns do do you have? Do want to? 
Uh, more boxes, nights, night visions, clearing kit, and backpack. Mm. No, I think we're good. Oh, P90. I I know. I I would I would buy it just because it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's buy it. I mean, the ammo for it is pretty much impossible to get, but but it looks cool. I just need to to have it. Okay, let's go talk to Simon. Let's see what kind of mission he'll have for us. Uh, by the way, um, how many guns do we need to collect? Yeah, we get the other no guns at all. Um, and how many uniforms? Well, quite a lot, but we're doing a decent job of it right now. We got quite a lot of field uh, urban uniforms, but not that much field uniforms. And. Uh, As for ammo, I think that's how much we collected, right? Yeah, and that's how much we need. We need quite a lot still. Mm. What do we do next? I have a serious conversation and pretty adv adventurous idea. Sit down, let's talk about it. Oh, this is something new. I'll, I'll listen. As far as I know, we have a big problems with financing, barely enough money to ensure that uh, militia doesn't flee to the villages, uh, to milk the cows and feed the ships. Poor thing, without the support of the people, we, we can't count on the success. Recently I have received information that Torment started paying her fighters salary for each dead officer of Alligarian army for exploded vehicles and barracks and other feats. Uh, she didn't do that before. Before this, she motivated militants, militants exclusively by the ide ideological beliefs. So what does this mean? Either the collapse of the ideology and the low morale among the volunteers, or an improved Im improvement in material conditions of the guerrillas. Can't argue with that. I was able to gain access to the control system of a uh, geodesic satellite uh, of a major foreign company and discovered unprecedented activity on uh, on the old uh, dilapidated military base I don't know what that word means in, in the south of the country near the main guerrillas camp according to some rumors the guerrillas managed to find the gold of the Incas, Mayans or anyone else other rumors say that uh, they received foreign support you are suggesting to rob the guerrillas and you don't think that will be easy. Certainly not easy, but if the rumors are true, we get uh, we get a good score. Moreover, to act on our behalf would be extremely unwise. On, on our own behalf would be unwise. South must be performed in the uniforms of Alligator and Army. It will make guerrillas to, ch uh, to choose to act or to lose. Divide and conquer, huh? Exactly. You need to get to do it in three days, 18 hours. Otherwise, guerrillas will put the gold into the business and will never see it. Take everything of value and uh, that will only be able to detect it and, and go. Rather than guerrillas will send reinforce, rather the guerrillas will send reinforcement from the main camp. You need to, you, to do everything quickly. What do you say? Well, you know what? Fine, we'll do it, but I think we're gonna do it uh, in the next episode, because, uh, well, it'll be pretty long otherwise. So, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, goodbye.